Okay guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, so many of you are new to the channel. You've come here because I blew the trumpet on this mountain. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Rhonda from her channel uh, shared that message. And many of you have, have come here as a result. So praise God. We're blowing the trumpet in Zion. Hallelujah. We are shouting his praises, glory to his name. We are assembling the camps for war. Now, many of you are uh, probably not familiar with the message or familiar with who is this guy, you know, what are you doing, you know, where are you, the weather is always nice. <laughs> so I want to um, explain some things and also uh, give you a message about um, kind of understanding the teaching that's going on on this channel. Uh, how to follow the channel, how to, um, you know, understand the message, how to find answers to questions, okay? So, first off, welcome to the channel. I'm very, very happy that you're here. You can see in my messages, I'm a voice in the wilderness. <laughs> but the things I do, guys, are real. And so I blow the trumpet on this mountain, and here you are. So praise God. Now, uh, there's a few things I want to tell you about. I'm not going to get a whole lot into personal testimony, but... But guys, I live by faith, okay? I'm living in Eastern Africa. I've been in Africa for a year and a half. The ministry you see, the videos that you see, I do full-time. I'm full-time studying. I don't work a job. I don't, this is what I do. I don't have any money. <laughs> I live by faith and God is faithful, okay? Now, I've been doing this for several years. Um, just like Jesus said, sell all you have, give to the poor, take up your cross and follow me. Now, I've been doing that traveling full time for two and a half years, okay? And then almost two full years, no money. I used to have a house, I sold my house, I sold my car, I got rid of all my stuff, and now I'm traveling. And God has sent me all over the world with this message. Sometimes I minister to people, I meet politicians, I meet local churches, uh, many, many, many interesting things, okay? But I live by faith, okay? This, what I'm trying to tell you is the stuff that I'm saying on this channel is not just, oh, okay, just my idea. I'm doing this stuff, and I'm telling you the message I'm giving you is real. The, the things I'm giving you is real. The man-child is real. The 144,000 is real. These are real people on the earth, okay? Now, um, what I'm doing, guys, is the work of a scribe, okay? Now, you say, well, what is a scribe? Well, basically what we do is we just take the scriptures, guys, and we let the scriptures interpret themselves, okay? As a scribe, what you do is you don't want to have, you know, personal opinions. It says, no prophecy is of private interpretation. It says this in Peter. Now, what that means is when you read the book of Revelation, all right, when you're reading it, don't assume you understand what it means by just reading one verse. You need to find the full context the full picture, the other verses throughout the whole story, throughout the whole scriptures of canon to paint the picture. And I'm going to give you an example uh, in this message um, about that, okay? But I just want to explain that. And guys, the way you, you uh, a good way to navigate my channel is you can see there's almost 250 messages, okay? And, ex and a lot of work goes into these messages. I'm just giving you the tip of the iceberg, okay? I've I have a uh, massive amount of information. So before you ask a question and you just see a video, you're at video number 250, you, you just do a search of the videos, okay? Just do a search and you'll probably see I've already covered your question, okay? Now, the other thing I'm doing is the, 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 t the messages are by playlist, okay? So for example, I'm trying to organize the playlist. There are many playlists, but what you can do is you take a playlist and you can follow the message, you know, in the playlist. I'm also going to have, you know, the charts and different um, notes that I write out. I'm going to organize those by playlist, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to reorganize the whole channel into four sections, okay? You can see in many of my recent messages, I've been talking about four, okay? Um, and these are basically moments in time, okay? Now, they're not all going to fit perfectly, but what you can do, guys, is this. I'm going to have a PDF file for each section, okay? There's a section of Revelation with the seven churches, okay? 
Revelation 4, Revelation 5, okay? Okay, that's three and a half years. Then there's the seals, that's three and a half years. Then there's the trumpets, that's three and a half years. Then there's the bulls, that's three and a half years. Now these sections of time, I'm going to organize a notebook, okay? So that you can have the notebook, a PDF file, and those accompany the message. So I do a message like this, and I have the notes written out. Now I don't have all the messages like that. So sometimes the messages are in the description field. So when I do a message like this, everything I'm saying is in the description field. So if my type of teaching is new to you or you have a difficult time understanding or I'm speaking very quickly, before you watch the video, read the notes, okay? Open your Bible, read the verses, okay? Familiarize yourself first, okay? Then when I go, now you may not understand it, okay? But then when I go in the message, you say, okay, it's not completely new to you, okay? You familiarize yourself with the material, okay? So uh, again, I strongly encourage you to uh, do searches of the videos. Um, there's been other times on my channel where it's been very, very busy, like it is now. Many, many questions, many, many comments. I try to reply to them. But guys, I also need help from you. Those of you that are, are, are familiar with the channel, you already know the answer, okay? You know what the person is asking. I really need that help, guys. I can't tell you how difficult this is. <laughs> I'm in East Africa. This place is under a state of emergency. The government has all kinds of restrictions. They block Wi-Fi. They, it's crazy, okay? It's very, very difficult, okay? So please do not be complaining about uh, the audio. Just look at what I'm going through. Look at what I'm dealing with, okay? Um, I'm, I'm working the best with the things that I have. Now, I want to also um, explain to you how um, the channel works in a, in a general sense okay guys what God does is he gives me various authorizations okay an authorization is like a key okay so like if you you know if you work at a business and you have an access card for you know certain aspects of the building let's say they're higher up or whatever however you want to you have a key okay now this is this is the first you know key I was given it's called the key to the house of David, okay? It's a key to a door, a door to a house, and it's the house of David. Now, that key is a nail, and you can see that right here. Now, this I take very, very seriously. So when I, this was the first key I was given. I was given this in the fall, or during Tabernacles 2013, okay? Then I have a playlist called the house of David. Then after this, the Lord started giving me other keys. And what I do is I take the, uh, the, the, Thing, the revelation he gives me and then I study it out and then I work over a series of messages that accompany that revelation okay so for example uh, this one you've seen I also was on this mountain I did the the seal okay the seal against the mark okay now this is real now I'm, I'm telling you I'm showing you I'm living this stuff I'm doing this stuff okay I have to to survive. I'm in warfare uh, here, okay? So we have the nail, okay? Now the nail is a key, uh, the seal is a key, and there's other ones he's given me, okay? Um, over the years, let me, uh, let me grab a shekel. Okay, here we go. Uh, here, here are some coins. This is actually a, a real uh, shekel. And this is the message, the shekel of the sanctuary. Okay, in the she shekel of the sanctuary, we can actually number the precise people in the apocalypse. Okay, so that's that one. And I have, I'll, I'll put in the description field all these things. But, but what I'm trying to explain is that I'm given these keys, I'm given these codes, I'm giving these authorizations, and then what I do is there's so much revelation, there's so much information, it's not possible to do... Uh, you know, a, you know, four hour message. Okay. I have to break it up in segments because the Wi-Fi is very slow. It's very, very difficult for me to do this work to upload these videos. Okay. So I'm just explaining that's what we're doing. And what we do is we try to avoid opinions. We try to avoid, oh, everybody is saying this. No, we let the scriptures speak for themselves. Okay. So some of, sometimes people say, oh, Leland, you're listening to you is like a math teacher. That's because I'm not, inf I'm not trying to influence the scriptures with my own thoughts, my own opinion. Oh, I think it's this, I think it's that. I'm trying to 
relay the information to you and you can clearly see there is a consistent message, okay? Now, let's do that now, okay? Now, uh, for, and this, this is, um, you know, for really a lot of the new people, um, you know, that, you know, don't really know the channel, there's certain things that this channel obviously is known for, okay? It's known for, you know, certain topics, like I explained to you how I, I'm given these codes, okay? So I've been teaching on the 144,000. I've been teaching on that for many years. I've been teaching on the book of Esther, Esther's preparation, okay? Now what I'm doing in these messages is I'm preparing, I'm preparing the people to meet the king, all right? Now, that's what Mordecai did. Mordecai checked on Esther, checked on how she was doing, okay? Now I am not Mordecai. There's an actual person that is Mordecai. But Mordecai represents those that are seeing how Esther is doing, okay? And that is what I'm doing, okay? I'm seeing, I'm given the information, okay? Esther must be prepared, six months of mercy, six months of sweet odors, okay? And I'm relaying that, okay? I've been doing that for years, all right? So, the other thing I would like you guys to do is if you hear me say things and do things that are, you don't, you don't, you don't believe me, okay, which is fine. What I encourage you to do is do a fleece. You know, um, uh, Gideon, the story of Gideon, he, the messenger came, the messenger of God came and he was like, uh, I, how do I know this is true? So do a fleece, do say, say God, uh, show me if this is true. You know, uh, confirm your word with signs following, okay? Ask him and he'll do it, all right? Um, the other thing I want <laughs> to say is those of you that get the message, you begin seeking God, and you begin pressing into the kingdom of heaven, you will suffer persecution. <laughs> That's just how it works. Um, I've been suffering persecution and under pressure and under judgment for over almost seven years since I've been doing this, okay? That's just the way it is. Don't be upset. You know, just give God thanks in all things, okay? Whether you understand it or not, repent, give God thanks, and get the victory. Now, the example we're going to use in this video is Song of Solomon. You'll see throughout all the messages, if you go through the playlist, you go through Esther's preparation, you go through Song of Solomon, you go through the book of Revelation, you'll see I'm teaching on these things over and over and over. So, let's go over an example. Okay, so there are sections of scripture in Song of Solomon, in Esther, and in Revelation that line up perfectly, okay? But what we have to do, like I said, is each one gives us a piece. Each piece comes together to form the picture of the puzzle, all right? So let's slowly go through Song of Solomon, chapter 4. In Song of Solomon, chapter 4, in verse 12, it says, A garden enclosed is my sister, my spouse, a spring shut up, a fountain sealed, okay? Uh, so let's get, uh, I'm going to get everything out, so we'll uh, do a little... Uh, Show and sell. So we have a fountain sealed, right? Okay. Now, in Revelation 7, 1, it says, uh, the angel sealed the servants of God, right? On their foreheads. Now, we know that the uh, servants of God that it's talking about there are virgins because you see that in Revelation 14, 4. Okay? So let's keep that in mind. Virgins seal okay uh song of solomon chapter 4 verse 13 the next verse says your plants are an orchard of pomegranates and present pleasant fruits and campfire and spikenard spikenard and saffron calamus cinnamon with all the trees of frankincense and myrrh and aloes with all the chief spices now you can see i'm holding up anointing oil okay now this is the oil so what it's talking about here in song of solomon it's talking about esther's preparation esther's preparation has six months of myrrh six months of sweet odors okay so let's just say okay we have six months of myrrh then six months of sweet odors so the the uh, fragrances that are mentioned in song of solomon these are the same fragrances that go into the anointing oil and the same fragrances that Esther was prepared by, okay? Okay, so there we have clearly the seal. We have clearly the 
anointing oil, um, and in Esther chapter 12, I mean, excuse me, Esther chapter 2, verse 12, the virgins, okay, had 12 months, according to the manner of women, so were they purified to accomplish six months of um, myrrh and six months of sweet odor. So, we have six months of myrrh and six months of sweet odors, okay? So clearly, in Song of Solomon and Esther, chapter 2, they are talking about this preparation, okay? Now, this is also what we see with the wise virgins. Remember the wise virgins, okay? The wise virgins had oil. What does that mean? The oil means they had gone through Esther's preparation. Six months of myrrh, six months of sweet odors. Now, the thing about the oil, the oil is intimacy with the Lord, all right? Again, this is these are things we've gone over before in Esther's preparation. It's a whole playlist. I'm just uh, going over this for the new people, okay? So clearly we have the wise virgins, okay? Here we have the servants of God sealed on their forehead, which are virgins, okay? Um, and we see the fragrances in Song of Solomon, chapter 4, okay? The other thing is the, remember the Lord Jesus, he spoke to the seven churches, okay? The second church was Smyrna. Now, that, now that's actually the word for it's adding the S in front, and that actually is smear that means myrrh. And then there's the church at Thyatira. Thyatira means odor of affliction. So, with the Lord's naming of those churches also has to do with these uh, preparations, the oil, the anointing oil for the virgins, okay? So we have church number two, Smyrna. Church number four, Thyatira, uh, myrrh and odor of affliction. Okay, again, the preparation. Then in Song of Solomon, we're kind of going through Song of Solomon chapter 4, Song of Solomon chapter 4, verse 15. Okay, a fountain of gardens, a well of living waters and streams of Lebanon. Okay, so we saw in Revelation chapter 7, uh, the seal, right? Well, then in Revelation 7, verse 17, we see these fountains of living water. The great multitude is led into the living fountains of waters. Okay, so clear we have the Song of Solomon uh, talking about the living waters, and we have a great multitude that's led into the living waters. All right, so clearly Song of Solomon, Revelation 7 are talking about the same thing. Then Song of Solomon, chapter 4, verse 16. These are all progressive scriptures, guys. Awake, north wind. Come south, blow upon my garden and the spices thereof, okay? Uh, that the spices thereof may flow out and let my beloved come into his garden and eat his pleasant fruits, okay? Now, again, we're in Song of Solomon chapter 4 and Revelation chapter 7. We have four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds, okay? of the earth, that the wind should not blow till they have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. Okay, so in Song of Solomon, we have the north wind. Okay, we have the south wind. So two of those winds are mentioned in Song of Solomon, which perfectly lines up with Revelation chapter 7. The thing I'll mention with what I'm doing, I'm blowing the trumpet, I'm assembling. Okay, in Ezekiel 37, it says, Ezekiel uh, prophesies to the wind, and lets the, the dry bones, and that, when did they come? When is an exceeding great army? The exceeding great army comes from the four winds, okay? That's what's happening right now. The army is rising up. It's a time of warfare, okay? So, we have these four winds. We have two of the four winds mentioned in Song of Solomon. North wind, south wind, okay? Okay, now... What happens is, Song of Solomon, we've, that was the last verse of Song of Solomon, chapter 4. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. I am come into my garden, my sister, my spouse. I have gathered my myrrh and my spice. Okay, we, I think we are calling this one myrrh. I don't know what it is. What does it say? It says hyssop. Okay, so uh, I have... Uh, 
I've gathered my myrrh and my spice, and this is the, again, preparation. churches. Now you guys know these verses, but what you want to do is we want to look at these verses in light of what um, we're seeing in Song of Solomon and Esther, right? Okay. When we look at, actually, let me let me finish Song of Solomon chapter 5. So I'm coming to my garden, my sister, my spouse, I've gathered my myrrh and my spice. I've eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, oh friends, drink abundantly. What is this? This is Esther's feast. Esther's feast is mentioned in Esther chapter 2. Then it says, I slept, but my heart wakes. It is the voice of my beloved that knocks. Okay. Now, this knocking on the door, the Lord comes in Song of Solomon chapter 5, knocking on the door. This is exactly what we see in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, voice of what? The trumpet, okay, hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and sup with him. I will come into him, it says. Okay, now when it says come into him, guys, this is intimacy with the Lord. What it, this is an invitation, and what happens is when the virgins completed their preparation and they had their uh, 12 months of, of oil of myrrh, they had a night of intimacy with the king. We see that in, song, in Esther chapter 2. Okay? So that's what it's referring to. Um, I will come into him. The king, you have intimacy with the king. Okay? Because every every virgin had a night with the king. Okay? Um, and every maid's turn was to come into the king. That's what it says in Esther. And I will sup with him. What is sup? That is Esther's feast. With him and he with me. Okay? Then it says, again, in Esther 2... Verse 18, the king made a great feast unto all the princes and his servants, even Esther's feast. He made a release to the provinces and gave uh, gifts, overcoming gifts, uh, according to the state of the king. Okay, then in, then in um, Revelation 3, 21, the next verse after the Lord is knocking on the door, it's, he says, To he that overcomes, I'll grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I overcame and have sat down with my Father in his throne. So Lord Jesus Christ is sitting in the Father's throne. Then we see this, Esther, chapter 2, verse 19. And when the virgins were gathered together the second time, then Mordecai sat at the king's gate. Okay? So now what you have is Mordecai is a type of the man-child. Okay? And what the at this point in Esther... This is when the man-child sits at the king's gate, uh, king's gate, excuse me, okay? And that's the door that is opened in Revelation 4, verse 1. And after this I looked, and behold, a door, what door? The king's gate, all right, was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard were, as it were, a trumpet <laughs> talked with me and said, Come up hither, I will show you that which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne, and one, and sat upon the, uh, there was a throne set in heaven, and sat upon the throne, okay? So this is uh, what John sees is the promise to the church at Laodicea, the Lord Jesus Christ, his throne, okay? Now this Mordecai is also a type of John the Baptist, all right? John the Baptist in John, uh, John 3, verse 29, He that has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom uh, stands and hears him and rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This is my joy, herein is fulfilled. So let me just say that again. Uh, he that has the bride is the bridegroom. So the bridegroom is the virgins, all right? They have prepared themselves, okay? They have the oil, all right? But the friend of the bridegroom stands and hears them, okay? So the friend of the bridegroom is Mordecai, 
Mordecai is observing Esther. He is instructing her with certain instructions, okay, in the book of Esther. So he stands and hears, okay, and he rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice, okay, which is the voice? The voice of the trumpet. That's exactly what we see John is well doing in Revelation uh, chapter 4. Now, Another example of the number 144 in Song of Solomon is Song of Solomon chapter 6, verse 8. There were 60 queens and 80 concubines and virgins. Now, the word virgins here in the Hebrew is Alma, okay? And Alma is translated into the word virgins four times. Thus, we have 60 plus 80 plus 4. 144, okay? Now, this uh, type and shadow of preparing for the king and preparing uh, with instructions is also not only in Esther, but is also in Daniel, okay? In Daniel chapter 1, Daniel and the Hebrew boys, they prepared uh, in uh, Babylon, okay? And they, they also had various instructions, so they got a new name, right? Uh, and they also took a stand. They took a stand against food. <laughs> and guys, that's one thing that's so amazing, as difficult as this place is. I am so healthy. I'm as healthy as I was in high school because the food has no genetically modified stuff or anything like that. I eat. Uh, it's so good. I'm so healthy. I, it's amazing. Okay. So God has put me here to give me various disciplines and one of those is food so i know for some of you um look food is not you do not earn righteousness for food but what we are doing is we are preparing our bodies our bodies we must be prepared spirit soul and body unto the appearing of the lord jesus christ it says that in thessalonians okay so uh for some of the the, the horrible things and processed foods i know god is talking to you about that yes uh what, whatever whatever that is okay but we have Esther. Esther had preparation, okay? She had six months of myrrh. She had, uh, you know, th these oils. We know that these oils were also um, a part of the um, wise virgins, right? We could clearly see in um, Song of Solomon that there was a seal, right? We have the seal, and not only that, the seal also we see in Revelation chapter 7. Now, another thing I want to mention as well, I showed you in Song of Solomon 6, 8, we had 60 queens, we have 80 concubines, and virgins, Alma, translated four times, 144. We also have 144 in the wall of New Jerusalem. The thickness of the wall was 144 cubits. The 144,000 are also in New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem is a perfect square. A perfect square has 12 edges. Okay, that's each edge of the perfect square, okay, is 12,000 furlongs. Okay, so you have 12,000 furlongs times 12 edges is 144,000 furlongs. So the 144,000 are in Revelation 7, Revelation 14, and Revelation 21 is the wall of New Jerusalem. Okay, so guys, this is an example of the type of things that we do on this channel. These are, we're just giving you math. We're just giving you where it's talking about these oils, okay? So, uh, again, I say welcome to the channel. Um, there's many, many other things like this where uh, we need to um, have preparations for the king. That's what we're doing. We're preparing the people to meet the king. Esther also had to go through various procedures to learn how to approach the king. We have all these in the playlist, guys. The other thing I want to mention is that as we come into the knowledge of the apocalypse, okay, of this time frame, we also need the Enoch calendar, okay? Again, another thing this channel is known for, um, I get, I'm mostly addressing the new people, but the channel is also known for the Enoch calendar. Uh, so that is a way that we can determine the precise days because there are prophetic days, 1,260 days. Okay, well, that's a 360-day-a-year calendar, 
Well, how do you do that? You can't do that with the moon, all right? So we need a different calendar. We have many videos on this. And, so exciting, uh, tomorrow is the last day of the year. So in two days, it's New Year's. Hallelujah. <laughs> so guys, we're going to have some more videos. This is a hello, shalom, welcome to the channel, to all you that are new. And um, again, please watch these videos. Please watch, watch these playlists. Please seek the Lord with all your heart. The things I'm doing, guys, you can do it as well. You can sell all you have and give to the poor. God will sell it, send you all over the earth, okay? With a message, with, with an assignment in these last days, okay? So this is what we're doing. We're preparing. Guys, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're getting ready for the king, we're assembling for battle. It doesn't matter if you're the 144,000. There's lots of other opportunities. There's lots of other gifts. There's lots of other places in this army. Okay, so do not feel sorry. You are on the earth for such a time as this. It's the greatest time to be alive in all of human history. The greatest honors will be given as the king approaches. And he sets up his new kingdom on the earth. Glory to his name. So guys, thanks for watching. As I like to always say, watch and pray. Seek the Lord with all your heart. Press into the kingdom of God, okay? And you will be greatly rewarded for doing so. For Thanks for watching, guys. And I will have links in the notes and everything in the description field. God bless you.